Hello everyone, my name's Highway Trooper and today I'm going to be walking you through how to install EUP, Law and Order and Serve and Rescue. So you know that's no lie, bam a lamb, she's so rock steady. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Internet Explorer. Search LSPDF file. Go on to Downloads. Go over to Essential Mods. Then go over to Emergency Uniforms Pack, Law and Order. Then all you want to do is click download this file. And open. I'll cut back now to when this is finished installing. Right, so it's finished downloading. Now what you want to do is minimize out of this. See the OIV, all you want to do is drag that onto your desktop, like so. There you go, now it's on your desktop. Now open up your OpenIV. Windows. And now go to this little square thing here where it will say open package installer click that go on your desktop and then find the EUP law and order 8.1 automatic install so open click on it and then click open then it will come up with a package installer and then it will give you all a description and a disclaimer it will also say whether it can be automatically installed or not uninstalled or not so click install Make sure you install it to your mods folder, then confirm. Let that install. The quicker your PC, the quicker it will install. I'm going to try hop in with some LSPDFR series very soon and I'm also going to be doing a EUP add-on video with next and I'm also going to be doing a tutorial on how to install Stop the Ped very soon. Right, so it says here installation succeeded. Close out of that. Minimize your open IV. Actually no, close your open IV. You're not going to need that now. Open up your GT5 main directory. It'll be on whatever drive you have it installed on. So for me, it's going to be on my C drive. Click on Program Files 86, then Steam, and then go down to Steam Apps, Common. Then make sure you're going on to the one where you have your mods installed. So for me, it's Grand Theft Auto V. Bring your EUP in all in order. Now what you're going to do is click on, and just make sure, click on Plugins. You can see now that it has all your EUP preset outfits and stuff like that, back out of that. What you want to do is drag the plugins folder straight in to your main directory. So click and drag, now drop. I'm not going to do that because I already have EUP and have a bunch of things installed. But it's the same thing, so you just click, drag and drop. That is the first one, Law and Order installed. Now what we want to do is install your now what you want to do is install your EUP serve and rescue. No, now what we want to do is install is install your EUP menu. So now what you want to do is click on download this file. Agree and download. Open. 
And then here you have your files and documentation. All you're going to want to do is click on files. And then you want to just highlight both of these and drag them in to your main directory. There you go. Now you've got EUP menu installed. Now what you want to do is go back It will now if you scroll if you scroll down here, wait for it to load, it'll give you EUP serve and rescue. Click on that. Download this file. Let it install. There you go. Yeah, so as I said, I'm going to be doing a Stop the Ped tutorial very soon, some LSPDFR series very soon, and I'm going to be doing a EUP add-on very soon. I'm going to do some British and American LSPDFR series, so comment down which you want to see first. Thank you very much for the support overall. Uh, I've got over almost three hours of watch time, which is, you know, I never thought I'd get that. But 21 subscribers, and it's gone up like four in the past day, so thank you very much. So what we want to do is drag this into your main directory again you can delete the EUP law and order OIV Just put that in your recycle bin open up your open IV again windows then go on to your little package installer square at the top then EUP SNR 1.3 OIV open install a mods folder but I'm not going to do that because I've already got this installed you click mods folder and then you will click install so that is going to be the end of this video I hope you found it useful if you found it useful comment down below also comment down below on what tutorials you want to see next if I haven't already mentioned what I'm going to do and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.